in your opinion, you know, if I'm looking at capital sources, and let's just say private equity maybe versus debt cap, when would be, when should I be thinking about taking private equity versus debt or vice versa? Well, look, I mean, I think debt at some point exhausts itself, mm -hmm. right? I mean, at some point, whether it's measured as a, um, a ratio to, you know, EBITDA, at some point, you're going to run out of debt capital. You, mm -hmm. you just are. And it's it, you know, three times, four times, whatever it might be. Uh, there's just, at some point, there's, you're just going to exhaust access to debt capital. So, um, yeah, at that point, yep, we're seeing, and, and, and several of our, our partner firms are taking on capital, uh, for growth, and typically growth around uh, continuing their their M and A, right? Uh, in organic growth uh, objectives. So, you know, look, I think not necessarily bucketing it as, in terms of just the whether it's private equity, whether it's a family office, right? I mean, I just I would think of it in terms of just uh, at what point in the growth of your business does it start to make sense? to take an outside investor mm -hmm. um, is when you need it, right? When you need it for um, typically uh, acquisitions and the like. So I, you know, those inflection points can be, you know, it can be 5 billion, it can be 20 billion, it can be a billion. It, it, it doesn't, I don't think it's necessarily constrained to um, your AUM or revenue. I, I think it's a, uh, an opportunity set sort of evaluation.